What's up guys, Dylan here at FDF and today we are going to go over how we are making our new one piece Hyundai Genesis dual caliper bracket. He's gonna do it. Are you gonna make a bunch of noise? Okay. Well, do it. He's not gonna do it. So yeah, this is our piece of material. Uh, Brendan, over there on the water jet, he's going to cut out all of our blanks. The middle here is actually what we ended up making the Mega Mantis shock mount for, or with. And the rest of the material is what we use for either our 350Z dual caliper brackets or this Genesis bracket. So I will take this piece of material. <laughs> I'll take this piece of material. We have just a little bit of curve here that we will grind off. So it sits nicely into the vise. And then from there, this will be our first op. So in the first op here, we do all of our roughing for the top side of the caliper bracket. We put our logo in it, of course. And then these three sections here, here, and down here are actually tabs for the second op. They will be cut off. So here we drill all the way through. We do the rest of our tool path, our bolt pattern, our clearance for the axle. And then down here you'll see we also do the chamfer to full depth on this op, which this material here will be machined away, leaving just the chamfer that we actually want on the finished piece. All right, and then here, this will be finished piece or op two. So it's gonna do the back side. Like I said, with the tabs here, this piece will get mounted onto our fixture plate. It'll be bolted there and here. And then we rough all this material out, leaving our step across here. The bolt pattern is revealed. And then afterwards, we just hold the piece down by two bolts right here. We'll take these bolts out of the fixture and then we run a contour pass and it just cuts the tabs away. We chamfer it and then we're left over with this, a finished product. So since we've already run through a, a couple pairs of caliper brackets through op one, obviously this is what it looks like. We're just gonna show you how we load this now onto our fixture plates and then run through op two. So we have our fixture plates for our left hand and our right hand sitting in the vices right now. Our left hand is already mounted up, bolted down to the fixture as you saw. So here we're just gonna show an example of our tabs again. And then on the fixture plate here, the tabs will bolt in. You can also see kind of the contour of just where the end mill is just blending in along the, uh, the fixture plate here. So then place it on like that, and then we can do some bolts. You want that? All right, so now that our parts are both loaded up in our fixtures, we can go ahead. We have our programs proven already, so I just have to select it out of the drive here. We're gonna go with the left hand, hop two, it's loaded into the controller, and all we have to do is press start. So right now we're using a half inch end mill. It's a three flute uncoated end mill, which is preferred for aluminum. So the uncoated carbide is a little bit slipperier. You have less chance of kind of gumming up on the cutter, which aluminum is known for. All right guys, so middle of the program, we have an M0 which will stop at the program. We come in here, we take our bolts out, we set these two guys into the holes that we have already drilled 
previously for the bolt hole pattern. This will allow us to come do the contour, cut our three tabs off, and then we'll also add a chamfer to finish the part. So you may have noticed that this tool is running a little bit slower. We use the same half inch end mill as we do to rough out all the main material when we start this off. However, since we're only holding it down with two bolts now, and we're also looking for a smoother surface finish along the wall, we just speed it a little bit slower and that will reduce the vibration and it also reduce the chance of the part shifting or coming loose on the, the fixture plate itself. So any, anyone who picked up on the tool maybe moving a little bit slower than the, the, the start of the program here, that would be why. Okay, so now that we are done our second op on the left hand, we're going to remove it from the fixture and then we will go over, kind of compare to our, our previous steel ones, the welded version, just go over some of the differences of them. All right, so here we have it, finished product of a left and right hand of our Genesis dual caliper bracket made out of 6061 billet aluminum. You can see here, a full one piece design. We'll just kind of go over a few of the differences. Here's a pair of our previous design, the steel welded ones. Um, honestly, the biggest difference that you'd be able to notice is the weight. The aluminum is much, much lighter than the steel one is. So saving a little bit of weight there. Um, personally, I think the billet finish and the billet uh, construction looks a little bit nicer. Kind of a shame that it has to go in the suspension and everything, but the, uh, the billet bracket is going to fit the same way, use the same spacers with the OEM caliper in the OEM position to just space it out. It'll work with the, the Brembo's and the non-Brembo calipers as well. So yeah, just a nice little aluminum lighter upgrade. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, hit the bell, um, share, whatever Tell else. What you they want to see CNC tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, for sure. Uh, anything else that you guys want us to go more in depth on, whether it be the the machining itself, tooling, or we can get into some of the programming as well. If if people are interested about that, let us know what you want to see, and uh, we'll get the videos out.